Hello everybody, I hope you're enjoying your Mix and Buckets of Fun this summer. This week's tutorial is teaching you how to add more photos to a page. Memory Mixer's flexibility allows you to add as many photos as you want to a page, so I thought it'd be helpful if we kind of go through a few um, scenarios and I can show you how to do that. So I have the Mix and Buckets of Fun Quick Mix opened here. This layout happens to only have one photo on a page, but I think I would like to add more photos. so. I can do it several different ways. The way I'm going to show you in this layout is I'm just going to reduce the size by selecting it, then grabbing one of the gray handles. I'm going to position it where I might think would be a good spot. I'm going to just drop it here. And now I'm going to copy and paste. So maybe I want four pictures on this one. And I'm just pasting four in place. And now I'm just going to drag the other photo boxes around. Oh, I only got three there, so I'll just go ahead and hit the paste button once more. We'll put it here. And I can position it, and then I can also grab the flip-flops, and I can reduce their size so I can make them smaller so they fit on the page. So that's one way of adding more photo boxes to a page. Okay, I've clicked on another page here in our Quick Mix, and this layout is great, but I have a lot more photos to go with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the items I don't want by selecting them and hitting the delete key. This time I'm going to use the photo layout tool. So I'll click on photo layouts and now you can see all the different photo options that are available to me. So I think I'll use this one here. And now you can see it. I've got my elements that are underneath it and all I need to do is click on those and now I can come up here and use my layering tool. And I'll do click on this and bring to front. And I've got my little marshmallow sticking back here. I'm going to do the same thing here. Click. That'll move it one layer if I come here. I can bring it to front as well. So I might choose to then just reduce the size of those elements. Scoot them where I might want. And this picture maybe I'll just get rid of all together. Oops. This photo box back here, let's see if I can grab it. Oh, it's still the fire, so let me just move that. Delete that photo box, and now I can bring my fire back over here. And I think it's cute too sometimes when the embellishment overlays the photo, so I'll move that. Now, if I wanted to add just a quick mat, I can come here, change it to just a real small mat, and do everything on this page, and they're all fit on this page. I can do then the same thing with a drop shadow. So, everything on this page say OK. And I've got drop shadows on my page. So you can see now how easy that is to add more photos to a page. OK, I have another page open here. And now you can always just drag and drop a photo onto a page. And that works. Let me just adjust his face down just a little bit there. And now I've noticed this picture here. Let's see. This picture here is the one I want to use, but it is not rotated. So if I use the double click button here, if I it brings up the same window that's over in my pane, but now I can go grab that photo right here, say OK, and now this brings it in through my crop window and it allows me to rotate my photo before it drops in. And so if I want, I can still go in and zoom and then nudge it down just a little bit if I wanted. I have opened up another layout in the Mix and Buckets of Fun. This layout has three photos in it, but it also has two other elements. This one here that was brought in as an additional background, as well as this paper strip here, they've both been cropped, but they act as though they're photos now. So if you're looking for more information, you can look for our tutorials about adding additional backgrounds. But if I were to use the edit photo now, or excuse me, the photo layout, it thinks this is a photo and this is a photo. So if I pick one that uses four, it'll warn me and say, you know what, you're going to lose a photo. Is that OK? And if I were to say OK, you'll see how this now gets turned into square. I've lost my crop as well as I've lost my um, little strip, my paper strip that goes across. And then I've just got this little element there floating as to where it was before. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that, but I just want you to understand that as you do the photo layouts, it will treat cropped backgrounds the same as a photo. Another thing to keep in mind, if you were doing this from scratch and you didn't have photo boxes here, 
Let me just delete these to give you the example. You can add a photo box here, and then this um, allows you to give the shape that you want to your photo without it um, changing the proportion of your pictures or skewing them. Okay, so I added one photo box. I can add another photo box, and I'll position it here. And then I can use my layering tools. This one sends it backwards. You can see how it's going. I can use this one to send it backwards. And then I can add my mats and my drop shadows just the same. So adding a photo box allows you to put the shape of your photo that you want. Um, it's a great tool. I really like using photo box. And you can find the photo box in edit photo here, as well as in photo layout here, add additional photo box. You can also bring in pictures using this add camera, as well as drag and drop your pictures from your photo panel. Thanks for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next time.